accelerate their flooding and stormwater projects is up for a decision tonight, too. It's all in an effort to mitigate the effects of climate change. Meteorologist Steve Fundero joins us now to explain the connection between climate change, weather patterns, and today's vote, Steve. Yeah, Anita, Tom, there's plenty we don't know about this connection between climate change and our weather, but one for sure we do is that when it rains, oftentimes it pours. When we pump more heat into the atmosphere, it's now then able to hold more water vapor, which then just leads to more frequent heavy rain events. And we're used to the amount of rain over the yearly you know, time span, but it's the rate at which it falls, which is now exposing Virginia Beach's ongoing flooding issues. So the bond referendum at the end of the ballot tonight, if it were to pass, it would allow the city to fast track and accelerate the flooding and stormwater projects. Some of these are real complex, tidal gates, pump stations, and the goal will then to put them uh, complete in about a six to seven year time frame instead of maybe 20 to 30 years. So that's gonna boost the price tag to over $500 million. That's the purpose of the bond referendum, is kind of make it a continual funding stream for generations to come. I mean, stormwater is going to be an issue here for a long time. It's the taxpayers who will have to fund it all. So, again, if the bond referendum were to get to the okay tonight, Virginia Beach residents would then see an increase in their real estate tax, which would come about to $10 to $14 a month. If rejected, the current stormwater management fee, which averages out to about 49 cents a day for Virginia Beach residents, uh, that would hold but may have the potential to increase. It's all the price we pay for a changing climate. Steve Fendero, 10 on you.